step into the winner's circle and look around. We've got fantastic prizes hidden everywhere. Prizes that you can win in the Winner's Circle. And now, let's meet the host of Winner's Circle, Tom Overton! Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome to the Winner's Circle. Right now, I'm probably the luckiest guy in this whole room. I have several things going for me. I have prizes. I have money, and I have a whole room of very nice people, and I have three of those very nice people to play our game today. So, Bill Wendell, will you introduce today's contestants, please? Happy to, Tom, from Douglaston, New York. Let's welcome Honey Brennan. And from East Islip, Long Island, say hello to Jane Stanley. And here from New York City is Ronnie Madden, today's contestant. I told you they were all very nice people, Honey, Jane, and Ronnie. Follow along with me now as I explain how we play our game. Across the stage, we have a giant picture screen, and in just a moment, I'm going to show you a picture on that screen. It's going to be mostly concealed, and it's going to stay that way for 30 seconds as our mystery voice reads clues to help you identify whom it is we're talking about. As soon as you know who it is we're talking about, write your answer down, place the card in front of you. That will automatically stop your electronic timer, and the contestant with the right answer in the shortest time, gets to join me right out there in the winner's circle. All right? Okay, if you're set, may we have the first picture, please? Singer Lanny Kazan's big break came when this star was ill during a 63 Broadway hit. She herself started out sweeping theater floors and singing in nightclubs. But happy days were never far away. After being nominated for a Tony as Miss Marmelstein, nobody could rain on her parade. She dropped an A in her first name and picked up a Tony, Oscar and Grammy. Brooklyn's Erasmus High is her alma mater. All right, there's the buzzer. Our answers are locked in. Honey says it's Liza Minnelli. Jane says Barbara Streisand. And Ronnie also says... Barbara Streisand, all right. Let's see the entire picture, please. It is Barbara Streisand. And Ronnie, you come on down here and join me in the winner's circle. Hey. Oh, boy. You know what's going to happen now that you're standing in the center spotlight? Let me turn your attention to our Lazy Susan, because we have prizes back there that are available to you. Bill, what's on that Lazy Susan? Here comes Tom Ronnie. We start our Lazy Susan with a washer-dryer. And next coming your way, a spinet piano. And take a look at this, a stunning mink coat. And a 25-inch color TV console. All right, Ronnie, there we are. Four fabulous prizes, each worth hundreds of dollars, any one of those can be yours. All you have to do is say, stop. And when that lazy Susan stops, whatever's facing you is going to be yours. But there's just one little bitty catch to our lazy Susan. You're going to have to pick the prize you want after the curtain closes. Now, I know those are some pretty fantastic prizes, aren't they? Take a good hold of that arm and follow me around because there's more. There's a whole lot more. We have four giant curtains. We have Columbo. And we have Paint the Town Red. And on this side of the room, I have Getting Around. And over here, I have Double or Nothing. Now, let me tell you that the titles to each of these curtains is a clue as to what that prize may be. And let me tell you one other thing. The value of those prizes is anywhere from $1 to $7,000. And I will open any curtain you select. So, your decision now is this. Go for the Lazy Susan or go for one of the curtains. If you go for one of the curtains, you must do this for me. I have in my hand three questions about Barbara Streisand. I need two correct answers, and I'll open any one of these curtains. Remember the value of the prizes back there, from $1 to $7,000. What's it going to be? I think I'll take Columbo. You think you'll take Columbo and go for the curtains? All right, folks. Give Ronnie a chance to concentrate. Question number one. Was Barbara Streisand once married to George Siegel, Elliot Gould, or Dustin Hoffman? Elliot Gould. 
Elliot Gould is absolutely right. All right. That's one now, one more to go. <clears throat> Question number two in Funny Girl, Barbara portrayed Fanny Bryce's rise from the chorus to the star of one famous showman's follies. Name the producer of those follies. Zigfield. Zigfield is absolutely right. Turn around and face that curtain, Bill Wendell. What do we have behind Columbo? From the NBC hit show Columbo, Ronnie, you've just won this Peter Fox Dirty Old Raincoat. <laughs> Ronnie, thank you very much, Madeline. That is a pretty gringy old raincoat. I don't want to ask you this. I know your husband's in the audience, but have you ever gone through his pockets? Yes. Have you ever found anything that looks like this? What is that? What is that? $500? That's $500 is absolutely right. That is a $500 bill and it's all yours. <laughs> We're going to continue our winner's circle game immediately following this message. Welcome back to the winner's circle. We're playing our game today with Honey, Jane, and Ronnie. Three very nice names. Gals, before we go on and play our game, I want to draw your attention to the Colombo Curtain. That area is now off limits, and it will stay that way for the rest of the game. It is no longer in the game. Okay? Very clear? So, the name of the game is Winner Circle. What do we want? We want winners. And we're going to have another picture right now. This ex-college professor just never settles down. He has established political and social relations with a variety of people, from prominent women such as Barbara Hoare to worldwide heads of state and power. A slight old world accent adds flavor to this political scientist's charm. He was most influential in the Paris peace talks and is the man who arranged the president's... Buzzer sounded, our answers are locked in. And we have Henry Kissinger says honey. Jane said... Henry Kissinger. Ronnie said Henry Kissinger. May we see the entire picture, please? It is Henry Kissinger. And honey, you got nine seconds. Come on down to the winner's circle. Woo! Come on down to the winner's circle. Come on down to the winner's circle. I like a girl that sits and applauds. Even if she were the winner, are the winner, is the winner. You know how we play our game. Yeah. We have a lazy Susan back there spinning with magnificent prizes. And we have our curtain areas. The value of the prizes behind these curtains, anywhere from $1 to $7,000. I will open any one of these curtains for you. But first, you must answer two questions out of three about Henry Kissinger. What's your decision going to be? The lazy Susan or the curtains. I'm a gambler. I'm going to go for You're a gambler going to go for double or nothing. Step right up to the bar, ma'am, while I read question number one. Okay. Question number one. Was Henry Kissinger born in Switzerland, Germany, or Sweden? Germany. Germany's absolutely right. That's one down and one more to go. <laughs> question number two. Was Dr. Kissinger a professor of political science at Princeton, Harvard, or Stanford University? Harvard. Harvard's absolutely right, double or nothing, what can I tell you? Except to turn your attention to double or nothing, cause what you see, honey, is what you get. Bill Wendell, what do we have? Tom, double means two. And honey, that's what you've won. Two brand new automobiles. A 1974 Pinto from Ford, the street of style and the size that meets the needs of most Americans. Ford, the closer you look, the better we look. Congratulations, honey, well done. <laughs> was exactly what we had in mind, his and her cars, and your husband's not here to share it with you, but will he be surprised when you get home? You'll be surprised because we're going to start another game right now, so hurry back to your seat. I'm going to follow you gals, put on your thinking caps, get your pencils sharpened, because we are going to have another picture just about that fast. This actor's films have moved him in an exodus through the Old West, Mexico, and seedy towns where he has portrayed a bronco buster, outlaw, boxer, and pool shark. Even though he is married to the three-faced Eve of Academy Award fame, he himself has never won that prize. But the New York Film Critics Award was his as best director for Rachel Rachel. It is no doubt that somebody... Mmm, there's the buzzer. And that ends the round and the answers are locked in. Honey... Paul Newman, Jane says Steve McQueen, 
Ronnie says it is Paul Newman. Let's see who our celebrity is. It is Paul Newman. Ronnie, just come out and set up here and join me in the winner's circle. Oh, my. I have a feeling this young lady was concentrating on the title Double or Nothing because now this is your second round up here. You know how we play the game. I don't have to explain to you. If you want me to open either of the remaining curtains or you want to go for the Lazy Susan, I'll tell you this. You have to answer two out of three questions correctly concerning Paul Newman, Mr. Blue Eyes. What's it going to be? The Lazy Susan or the curtains? Paint the town red. Paint the town red as a curtain, and here are your questions. Listen closely. Name the actress who starred under Newman's direction in the film Rachel Rachel. His wife, Joanne Woodward. His wife, Joanne Woodward, is a correct answer. <laughs> All right. This is question number two. Both Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and Sweet Bird of Youth were Newman films written by a famous American playwright. Is that playwright Edward Albee, Tennessee Williams, or Clifford Odets? I think it's Tennessee Williams. You said you think it's who? Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams. That's about as good an answer as I had ever hoped to get. That's absolutely right. Two on two, and Paint the Town Red was your selection. Bill, what's behind that curtain? Ronnie, you can paint the town red with a night on the town. You and your husband will have dinner out, tickets to a Broadway show, and a private limousine to take you around town. Have a wonderful time. Congratulations, Ronnie. And my congratulations is one of the playing for the marvelous game. Two-time winner will be back to play more in the winner's circle immediately following this night. And this is Winter Circle, and we're playing our game with Honey, Jane, and Ronnie. And they know what's going to happen right now. We're going to have another picture, please. Stars fell on Alabama could easily be this personality's theme song. I like my girls blonde and my Johnny Walker red was a comment he passed on during a recent interview. You've probably caught him on a score of magazine covers, late night talk shows, or taking it off in a TV commercial. Right now, he's taking time off from the football field because of an injury. But this jet setter is determined to come back. Now, if you still don't know who it is, just knock on the locker room door and ask for... <laughs> The buzzer sounded. Our answers are locked in. Honey said, Joe, will he name it? Jane, Joe, name it. And Ronnie, who just got in under the clock, Joe, name it. Let's see our entire picture, please. It is Joe, name it. And Jane, you come on down to the winner's circle. Oh. Up you go and into the spotlight. And I have to congratulate you not only... One, for getting the answer so fast, but a tremendous amount of patience to be able to wait all this time. But I know what makes her as patient as she is. This charming blonde lady is the mother of six children. That's enough to build a patience. Well, patience, I mean, Jane, you know how we play our game. Our Lazy Susan is back there, and I'll tell you what, it's been a long time since we've seen our Lazy Susan, and you have been so delightfully patient. Let's show you what's on that Lazy Susan right now. Coming your way, Jane O. Washer Dryer, and that beautiful spinet piano, and that lovely mink coat is still with us, but look at this, Jane. We now have three color TVs. Okay, Jane, there they are. There's four fantastic prizes, any one of which can be yours. You know how we play our game. We'll close the curtain when you say stop. We'll open that curtain, and whatever's facing you is yours. However, we still have two curtains remaining to us. If you elect to go, or we have one curtain, I'm sorry, to go for. If you elect to go for that curtain, I have in my hand three questions about Willie Joe Namath. Give me two correct answers, and I'll open that curtain. Your decision, the Lazy Susan, which is still turning, or the curtain. I want the Lazy Susan. You want the Lazy <laughs> Susan. All right, I'm going to show you that Lazy Susan one more time. Study the order of the rotation of the prizes. Lock it into your mind very closely, because when I close that curtain, all you have to do is say stop, and it will stop. Say when. Stop. Lady says stop that lazy Susan. 
open the curtain and let's find out what Jane has oh. right there. Jane, you just selected a magnificent full-length meat coat. From Leo Mary on the Paris of New York, a meat coat with the elegance of natural black llama. And Jane, this coat is worth $3,000. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Catch your breath. Your knees may be a little bit wobbly, but see if they'll get you back to that desk because we're going to have another game just as fast as you can get back there. Be careful. Sort of took her breath away, a beautiful mink coat, but now we have on our screen another picture. Though not American, this man was so closely tied to the destiny of the United States that in 1963, Congress bestowed American citizenship upon him. A man of action, he rose through a stormy career to become a great leader and prize-winning author, but he is best remembered for his blood, sweat, tears, and toil speech. As British Prime Minister, he met with Roosevelt and Stalin in Yalta to discuss war strategy, and later it was he who coined the term Iron Curtain. Millions will always picture him with his cane, cigar, and V for victory. Oh, the buzzer has sounded. Our answers are locked in. Honey, you didn't quite make it in time. Jane, you said Winston Churchill. Ronnie, you also said Winston Churchill. Let's see who our celebrity is. May we have the picture? There it is. It's Winston Churchill. Hey, <laughs> If that's not the fastest round trip you've ever made, you've never traveled the subways of New York. But at any rate, we still have that lazy Susan, and we still have that curtain getting around. I will open that curtain if you elect, but you will do for me just one thing. You will answer two questions correctly out of three about Winston Churchill. Your decision, the lazy Susan or getting around. Getting around. Getting around. She's had her turn at the Lazy Susan. Now she wants to get around. All right, question number one. A best-selling book has recently been written about Winston Churchill's mother. Is it called Clementine, Victoria, or Jenny? Jenny. Jenny is absolutely right. Oh. <laughs> question number two. Winston Churchill graduated from the Royal Military College. Is that famous military college Oxford or Sandhurst? Oxford? Oxford is a wrong answer, Jane. The answer is Sanders is the military college. Hang on to that hand. Maybe some vibes will come through. <laughs> we have one more question. Got a good grip? Yeah. Okay, listen closely. Winston Churchill's father was English. Was his mother American or French? American? That's absolutely right. <laughs> Those guys to you. And now, Bill Wendell, will you tell Jane Stanley what she's won, please? Here it sir. comes, Tom. You'll be getting around Jane for 21 days oh. on this a cruise to the South Pacific. You and your husband will spend 21 glorious days cruising aboard the SS Rotterdam and the Holland America Lines. Your ship makes stops in such exotic ports as Tahiti, Manila, and Hawaii. Aloha, Jane, and congratulations! <laughs> Jamie just said to me, that's just what I want to do, and I know what you have in mind. You're going to leave six kids behind, and you and John are going to sail off on the seven seas. We're going to sail back with our final round immediately following this message. Congratulations. We're here in the final round of our Winner's Circle game. We're playing with Honey, Jane, and Ronnie. And contestants, right now, we're going to show you a picture of a well-known celebrity when he was a child. Whoever identifies that picture in the least amount of time is our winner. Sounds simple, but first let me tell you what's at stake. What's at stake is $5,000 in cash. There it is. Now, if you identify this person in less than 10 seconds, you'll win $5,000 in cash. Up to 20 seconds, you will win $3,000 in cash. If it takes up to 30 seconds to identify the picture, you will win $1,000 in cash. Remember, this picture is worth $5,000 to one of you. If you're ready, listen closely to our mystery voice. 
Over the years, this child has grown to become a superstar. But on the way, he's been an actor, television impresario, record producer, film director, and always a singer. Beginning as a singer in the 40s, he matured as a movie star in the 50s after winning an Academy Award for From Here to Eternity. This man, who made millions of Bobby Sox's swoon, is now rarely seen except for occasional appearances at political gatherings or in Las Vegas night spots with Dino, Sammy, and Joey. All right, the 30 seconds is up. Our answers are locked in. Now, may we see that star as he is today. It is Frank Sinatra. And, Jane, you have 22 seconds on your clock. If you have Frank Sinatra as an answer, you will have just won for yourself one thousand dollars in cash. It is Frank Sinatra. Lenny, 23 seconds on your clock, and let me see what your answer was there. If I can just get a grip on that, it was Frank Sinatra as well. And honey, don't look. She says she's embarrassed. Marlon Brando, I won't look. <laughs> one for herself, two automobiles worth over $6,000. Jane Stanley, you got a fur coat worth $3,000, a 21-day cruise, which is about $2,000. Ronnie, you want a raincoat, $500, and a night on the town worth $1,000. And with the cash prizes and all of the merchandise we have given away on the winner's circle, more than $15,000. And we've enjoyed playing games with these three ladies. We hope you'll be joining us in the winner's circle sometime soon. Thank you all very much. And bye -bye, everybody. This program was pre recorded. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.